Morning everyone, I thought I'd do a, a quick video today on how we're coming with heat because it's another, another very, very, very hot day. So, um, because it's that hot, I'm, I'm not prepared to take the cats out in the van, um, out walking and everything, to have them shut in and everything. So we've basically just, we've, we've just stayed at the bungalow, we're out on the grass, we're, we're sorting out how to um, work out how to, you know, get back size so they're either quality socks are walking herself here I'm taking cheap up around the block and everything just to get used to walking the league, get used to the cars but he exercises himself in the zip line um, I'm actually in discussion at the moment with people how to do my next stage of getting a, a window put in the back so we can have these back doors open so the cats are enclosed and as you can see I am the, the curtains at the front help a heck of a lot of stuff and the heat coming in and I've just found an extendable pole which works great here and I put this lovely bit of fabric up that I've been gifted um, which again just blocks that heat off. Um, Chief's having a bit, a bit of a play with it, been a bit annoying with it. Um, obviously, I've got a bit, I, I will, I'll just put it across for now because I've got the kettle on, but I'm just going to put that back again to show you that that just easily slides um, out the way, and then I can also have a bit of fresh air coming through. But again, just to block off that some electrical difference, I put outside the uh, biscuits and water so the big cats don't have to keep coming in and getting hot. Chief comes and goes as he wants to. He's on his um, he's on a, a extendable lead attached to the inside of the van. So um, he's <laughs> he's good enough. He'll he'll keep coming in out and have a little wander. So um, all I have I have no like, air conditioning or anything in here. And obviously this sliding door has to be shut when the cats are in to keep them in as to the back doors. So even with the skylight, little windows on the side, um, and I've got grills on the front windows as well. Um, New Tangle Chief, he just got himself out in a minute. Um, it's still, you know, it gets about 28 degrees in here and no fresh air. So, as you see, I've moved the fan I had um, from the Venter van, that's 12 in a cigarette lighter that's underneath the counter here. So, at least I have an air there, and when we're driving along, that will go with me or with the cats. So I do have another little 12 volt fan here I'm going to set up so the cattery has a, a fan coming off my computer or something when they're, when they're mobile. Um, obviously they do have their own window open but it just, it's like a, a heat trap with the window there um, and that's a tile in there just again for them to lie on to get a bit, a bit of, of cool I'm going to be changing the um, the, separate, the tiger bed in to something a lot cooler some kind of something for the summer um, so that it's not so hot for them to lie on so at the back with the back doors open I have got my shower curtain across um, so I'm just draw that open to get the fresh air in and out. Now the idea is this actually this pole actually usually goes between the two back doors at the back, so it's usually further back. So then I have the gap here to actually you know um, change when I'm being coming out the lakes or anything after going in the canoe. Oh again, obviously you can have like um, a, a bowl of water and a, have a shower or a standing bath out there. Um, but it's basically curtain at the moment just to sort of stop the heat coming, especially at night and everything. But lovely having tiger passion on there. So um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting, um, getting a window put in here, in this section here, and it's going to have another um, opening window that side, and all wire mesh, so it's all going to be like um, cat proof so you can see if you've got air coming through, and they have a, a window here which will lift up or just be removable out, so I can still have my fire escape and still jump in and out of there. That will then obviously be, so it'd be like a, a mesh window like this, um, so that'd be a window there. And then it means I can open that back door from the stops and the cats can't get out. So even when I can't open the sliding door, at least I can open the back doors. Like similar to how my older sign was, that we can just stop somewhere, open the doors, let them have a look around without having to sort of get out. And that would help as well when they're not allowed to go out walking anywhere. They can at least have a look at the view and um, see where they are. And also um, it's you know it's just a nice opportunity to get some of the, the temperature down. Um, and also um, the same person kindly offered to try to make the um, little drop down table to um, so I can have my go out to shows, boot sales and sell some wares um, and to put the stock on and also make it into or trying to make a removable seat that sits on the tow bar as well um, for, for again stock again or just a seat to sit up outside when we're somewhere rather than having to carry um, the folding chairs which I don't have room for 
Um, excuse the mess in the corner. I'm just got my uh, paints. I'm going to be doing some paintings. I've got my paints out and everything there. Still struggling with storage. Just got piles of boxes and things. I can see my drums going to be painted there. Um, and I and I will try to get um, a wire here and have a, a curtain to hide all that corner and that mess. Um, we're waiting to wash up so if anything else is messy. So that's where we're at the moment. Just having that curtain there at the moment is it's really really helpful to block off the sun. No, I can't see Chief, but I can see the um, when the lead moves because obviously it attached to the inside, um, and he's pretty good. He he's not somebody who's going to sort of go wandering off like Connie. Um, did have Connie out on the zip line yesterday and caught her again, but she is into season and so she's in the vicious stage. So I need to let her go because you couldn't get hold of her without sort of getting your hand bitten off. So. Um, so the issue is at the moment, um, I can't go anywhere because the cats are sleeping outside in this weather. It's so hot. Um, I don't mind if they leave the bungalow Bentley behind. I've got um, a box um, and food and water outside the front of the bungalow. And they can get in the shed if they want to through a gap. Um, but they don't realise that. But they, they've got enough protection if they need it, you know, shelter and, and food there. Um, and if I went, if I left them, then they would have the shed to themselves. So that's not an issue. Obviously, though, I want to take them with me. Um, so I'm trying to make it so that it is self-contained. And, you know, I want to go away for a few weeks. I still want to go for a few, a few weeks. Um, especially July, because July is, you know, the anniversary of Sticker's death. Um, so we'll be going to North Yorkshire then. But I've got the powwow coming up. So all four cats are supposed to be coming with then. So obviously, the, just within a couple of weeks now. So obviously, the issue is now, how do I get... You know the place contained and safe for Connie um, at night time um, when she can't be just tethered with the door open which would be you know I can obviously leave doors open um, with me inside as long as that is con that is contained and you know I'll be aware of anybody there so that's what we're working at the moment um, just with the doors open today with that curtain across it's a lot better um, and obviously the fans there and I find that make much difference to be honest at the moment with the, with the doors open but uh, it's just pr trying things and, and practicing with things and see see how hot it does get. Obviously the van is parked completely into a direct sun spot at the moment. So if I can survive here then I can survive anywhere. Um, and obviously normally I'd be parked in a, in a shady area and with a bit of protection. I haven't got a an awning off the side, obviously I don't have time for things like that. Um, I am considering, I do have a driveway awning but I can't fit it to the van at the moment because um, I hasn't got a, a bar to attach it to and I think it's too heavy and too cumbersome. Again, I haven't got room to carry it in here. Um, so I'm thinking of just getting a, um, a three metre gazebo for when I take shows. We can just be chucked on the floor in here when we're travelling. Um, or on the roof even. I might even be able to get that on and off the roof if, I'm, <laughs> if I do a challenge, but I might be able to do it. Um, or well, actually that could actually be attached to the ladder. The back of the, that's an idea, isn't it? The gazebo could be attached to clip to the outside ladder when we're travelling to the show. Um, so yeah, I probably will go and buy one knowing that now. Um, so I say I can't get onto the roof rack. I just I do get vertigo and I can't do all the climbing and things. So I can't. <laughs> so the, the roof rack just used for solar panels. Anyway, I I digress. Um, it's just all a lot of brainstorming, a lot of you know trial and things. Mm. I put fell off yesterday. Clothes are now out of boxes up there. They just uh, are in rolls um, for each outfit. Uh, just like an airing cupboard up there. Um, so that works fine. Chief still likes to jump up there and sleep up there. Um, so we're just leaving that as they are. Obviously there's no risk of them getting wet or anything. We've tried all that and that's fine. It may be a bit different if got, with a cold in the winter, but again, they can always go back into boxes then or into bags, which isn't an issue at all. So that's working fine. Not done anything with the front yet. It's working great as a crawl through. Um, I have no issue with that. So yeah, um, bed's looking great now. My new... Uh, my new throw and little cushions so it means I, I take this off at night time and I put it down the daytime so that looks smart for people to look in and come in um, and visitors to come in during the daytime that also obviously makes me get up and do a bit of spring cleaning in the morning and tidy up make it presentable and that's where all well, the pillows are chucked up there uh, hello Chief Chief he's happy as Larry in his morning playtime are you getting tangled? Are you getting tangled, Chief Chief? Hey! But he's, he's a happy lad, really, really happy. Still cuddling me, still, you know, giving me lots of lovings in the uh, in the night time, which is exactly what I wanted um, in the replacing Sticky States regarding that. Obviously, you can't replace Sticky, but I really needed a cuddle boy, and Chief's just been absolutely amazing, so I'm really, really grateful for that. Right, so anyway, I am now going to get my washing up done and do some more 
like brainstorming and write lists for what's got to be done next and uh, my to-do things and as you can see as soon as that's put across it's just so much shadier and cooler in here and it looks a bit tidy from the outside as well people looking in get more privacy as well so anyway from me to you and from us I hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend and uh, we'll catch up with you soon bye for now